Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to read calculus notation. Calculus is a subject which uses a lot of different types of notation. And it's important that if you're going to communicate with another mathematician, that you do so unambiguously in a way that is easy to understand. So when looking at this barrage of notation, let's see if we can try to figure out a clear and precise way of pronouncing every piece of it. So here we have f double prime of x, sometimes referred to as the second derivative of x. This is equal to x to the 17th power, or simply x to the 17th, plus the cosine of x, where this is one of the six trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent. And here we have ln of x also referred to as the natural log of x. Occasionally, you'll hear this simply referred to as the log of x, though you need to be careful with the phrase log of x because that can have several different meanings depending on which context you're using it in. In some areas of math, log of x refers to the natural log or log base e. In engineering, log of x sometimes refers to log base 10. And in computer science, log of x sometimes refers to log base 2. So if it's not clear what context you're using it in, it's good to specify what type of logarithm you're using. So here we say ln, or the natural log. Let's take a look at this. This is the integral from 0 to 7 of e to the x squared minus the square root of x plus pi dx. This dx means with respect to x. So this function is being integrated with respect to the variable x. When you're only doing single variable calculus, it is usually understood which variable is being integrated. But when you move up to multivariable calculus, sometimes it can be much more confusing. OK, let's take a look at limits, which are very important for the foundations of calculus. This would simply be read as the limit as x approaches a of whatever quantity you are taking the limit of. But there are also one-sided limits as well. This we would read as the limit as x approaches a from the right, or x approaches a from the positive side. This is the limit as x approaches a from the left, or from the negative side. Lastly, let's look at these two pieces of shorthand. Here we have dv dt, which means the derivative of v with respect to t. So if you have some function v, which is a function of a variable t, the instantaneous rate of change of that function with respect to t is given by this piece of abbreviation, dv dt. If, however, your function v is a multivariable function, perhaps a function of t and x and y, for example, you would not use the standard derivative, but instead the partial derivative, which is indicated by this notation. However, the two are pronounced very similarly. This is also dv dt. And the meaning of each is typically clear by the context. It's unlikely that you would have a single variable function v and a multivariable function v in the same problem. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to read calculus notation.